by virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I constitute the congregation of the Regent Business School. Today, it is through the will of the Creator that we are graduates indeed. Everything that we are, everything that we've had is due to His will. And from here on, everything will be due to Him. We ask for grace enough to practice in all humility what we have learned. And we pray for patience enough to help others along. Dear God, give us courage and strength to shoulder the responsibility of uplifting our communities. For in the service of man lies the service of God. Above all, help us respect, appreciate and love our families. For they too have difficult journeys. Grant us all the guidance and grace, for thou art most gracious, supremely merciful. Amen. Can you imagine that today is your day? You have finally achieved one of your dreams and ambitions. You are graduating. Wow, that is fantastic. Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the graduation ceremony of Region Business School on this, the 22nd of May, 2021. It is my pleasure to welcome you and your families to this online graduation ceremony of Region Business School. My name is Dr. Ridwan Aswad, and I'll be your host for today. Let me take this opportunity to welcome the principal of Region Business School, Professor Marvin Kambua, our Academic Dean, Dr. Ronel Blom, and the CEO of Region Business School, Dr. Professor Ahmed Sheikh, as well as the colleagues from the Honoris United Universities. Today's graduation is the biggest in the history of Region Business School, and we are extremely proud of the achievements of our graduates. Despite all the challenges, that each and every one of you and the world have faced with the COVID-19 pandemic, you have finally made it. The human spirit has endured and we will overcome this pandemic, God willing. Graduation day is a day to rejoice and savor the moment of your academic achievement. Today culminates the hard work that you and your families have endured in the pursuit of knowledge that will benefit you and society. Today is your day to celebrate with your family and loved ones in the comfort of your home. Please share and tag Region Business School on all social media platforms so we can reshare your moments of celebration. Thank you once again for being part of the graduation ceremony and we at Region Business School wish you all the best and all the success. Thank you. Dear graduates, ladies and gentlemen, colleagues and friends, it is my singular honor today to share a brief message with the graduates and your families on the occasion of your graduation ceremony. Let me start by congratulating each of the graduates for your outstanding achievements on this special day. I wish to also congratulate and thank your families for all the support that they've provided to you throughout your study journey. For most of you, I know that you had not imagined a socially distanced virtual graduation when you started your studies a few years ago. And I know that you've missed the opportunity today to walk across the stage, greet members of the academic congregation, collect your certificates, get capped and hooded, and having the pleasure of being cheered on by your family and friends. But the absence of a physical certificate, ladies and gentlemen, or a graduation ceremony should not get you down. Dear graduates, you have already won, and today is the full celebration of that victory. So let's celebrate the graduation today, even under these very difficult and odd circumstances. And let's celebrate all the hard work that it took to get here. Dear graduates, let me hasten to add that besides this socially distanced event, there is something else unique and special about your graduation today. Whilst graduates have historically always been asked 
to embrace the future with new skills, vigor, and creativity. Never before has a graduating class been called to step into the future with more purpose, vision, passion, energy, and hope. We are still in the midst of a global health emergency and a profound socioeconomic crisis. And there's a special responsibility on each of you as graduates. A responsibility to see the world around you with fundamentally altered realities. New ways of working, new ways of learning, new ways of creating value, and indeed, new ways of living. So I wish to urge each of you to take a few moments of reflection once you've completed your celebrations today to think about the new world that we have all entered into. I know that you have spent the past few years building your skill set, learning new knowledge, expanding your worldview, and engaging in what some people might call higher education as the intellectual hustle. I guess the big question is, what will you do now that you have greater competencies to take on the world around you? More specifically, besides finding and securing a decent job or getting that promotion that you've been working so hard for, how do you plan to impact the world around you? In addition to supporting your family with their essential needs and more, how do you plan to make your community and our society safe and prosperous? And whilst working hard to ensure that you lead with honesty, truth and authenticity, how do you plan to contribute to building trust, reliability and sound values in our institutions, our public service and society at large? Besides the obvious challenges, and there are many of them, I must hasten to add though that this pandemic has also opened seemingly countless doors for innovation and creativity in the new world around us. Technology has also become more than just a tool. It's become a partner to solve big problems. Dear graduates, my parting advice to you today would be set the bar high for yourselves. Be ready to solve big problems with creativity and imagination. Be bold in your leadership and brave with your ideas. And remember that with education comes responsibility and power. The responsibility and power to make the lives of the less fortunate better and more fulfilling. As I conclude, I wish to share one more piece of good news with you. From today, you're not alone as you journey into the new normal. You are joined by fellow alumni of Regent Business School and Honoris United Universities, a Pan-African community of tens of thousands of students and graduates, all of whom are committed to work hard and smart with energy and passion, with strong ethics and values to build a better society, God willing. So from Regent Business School and Honoris United Universities, sincere congratulations and best wishes to you and your families. Professor Ham Sheikh, Managing Director, Regent Business School. Dr. Ridwan Asvat, Director of Operations. Mr. Bisnath, Registrar. Dr. Blom, Dean. Professor Osman Sedat, Deputy Dean. Eminent guests, families and sponsors of graduates, colleagues and friends of Regent Business School. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to this graduation ceremony at which we acknowledge, honor, and celebrate the outstanding achievements and successes of our graduates. This is the first graduation session out of three that we are holding today. In all, a total of 2,183 graduates will be graduating today. Traditionally, graduation ceremonies are public events which, in our case, are held at grand venues such as the International Conference Center, ICC, here in Durban. But the COVID-19 pandemic has made this and the previous two graduation ceremonies virtual events in order to safeguard the safety of our staff, our graduates, and their families and guests. This, however, does not take away from the significance of this event. And on behalf of Regent, 
I would like to welcome you and thank you for your participation. To the graduates, I would like to say that through your graduation today, you joined thousands of other exceptionally talented and influential graduates of our business school and alumni of Honoris United Universities who are making significant contributions in many and diverse fields of human endeavor across the globe. Each one of you is here today through your own sustained work. You have needed courage to face the challenges of tertiary education. These challenges are more pronounced when you study in a distance mode under COVID-19 protocols, oftentimes alone, but always knowing that we are there at the end of the phone or through email or indeed the student portal to support you. We live in a fast changing world. Lifelong learning is no longer mere talk, but a reality of the modern world. Fitting study around social activities, work and family commitments is a challenge. And as you will attest, Completion is enormously satisfying. Today we are faced with the challenges and of course the opportunities of the fourth industrial revolution. As Alvin Toffler writes, quote, the unfortunates of the 21st century will be those who cannot learn, unlearn and relearn, unquote. We urge you to take any situation and experience as an opportunity to learn, to unlearn and to relearn, an opportunity for personal growth and development. The good news is that you leave region today with the best possible education to successfully enter the workforce or continue to contribute to your current organization or indeed to be a creator of employment for yourself and others with the intellectual skills that make it possible for you to be lifelong learners. Let me give you some graduation statistics. When Regent held its first graduation in 2003, only five students graduated. Today, a total of 2,183 students are graduating. Out of those graduating today, 1,290 or 59% are female and 893 or 41% are male. I think we should give the ladies a round of applause. Our graduates this year represent a cross-section of the cream of our continent. They are from Angola, Botswana, Burundi, Cameroon, Congo, Cote d'Ivoire, Egypt, Eswatini, Gabon, Ghana, India, Lesotho, Malawi, Mauritius, Mozambique, Namibia, Nigeria, the Philippines, Somalia, South Africa, Sudan, Trinidad, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. In terms of geographical origin, the majority of graduates are from the following countries. South Africa, 1,860. Eswatini, 119. Namibia, 85. Zimbabwe, 39. Mauritius, 18. Congo, 12. The rest are from other countries which I mentioned earlier. As an institution, Regent remains eternally grateful to our directors, our stakeholders and partners who challenge us to be on the cutting edge of our sector 
so that we can continue to produce leaders who will become agents of social economic change and meaningful transformation. With the resources they provide, we endeavor to generate and disseminate knowledge that can change our society and the world for the better. In order for us to advance the reputation of your alma mater, I would like to encourage our graduates to remain part of the Regent family by participating and contributing to the alumni program. Your journey is just beginning. You have the opportunity to do your part to help create a better future for your families, a better future for your communities, and a better future for your countries. As former president, let Nelson Mandela writes in the final chapter of his book, Long Walk to Freedom, I quote, I have walked that long road to freedom. I have tried not to falter. I have made missteps along the way, but I have discovered the secret that after climbing a great hill, one only finds that there are many more hills to climb. I have taken a moment here to rest, to steal a view of the glorious vista that surrounds me, to look back on the distance I have come. But I can only rest for a moment. For with freedom comes responsibility, and I dare not linger, for my long walk is not ended." Unquote. So remember, your walk has not ended. Please register online today with the Regent Alumni Office so that you may continue to contribute to the mission of your alma mater. In conclusion, we know that the completion of your studies towards the degree, diploma, or certificate that you will be awarded today is a great accomplishment and is a milestone shared by parents, siblings, sponsors, and friends who contributed to your success. Enjoy and cherish this moment and remember to thank them. Staff at Regent are also proud of your achievements. Do remember to thank them in your own time as well. Finally, just a reminder, the COVID pandemic is very much with us. Until a significant proportion of the populations in our countries is vaccinated or therapeutics are available to all, please remain vigilant. Wear a mask and maintain social distance when you are in a public place and wash your hands with soap regularly and where possible, use sanitizer frequently. Stay safe. Thank you and congratulations. Mr. Principal Sir, I have the honor to request you to confer degrees and postgraduate diplomas of Regent Business School to candidates whose names appear in the program. By virtue of the authority entrusted to Regent Business School by the Higher Education Act 101 of 1997, I award certificates and confer degrees and postgraduate diplomas of Regent Business School to candidates whose names appear in the program. Mr. Principal Sir, I have the honor to inform you that the candidates I now present to you receive the award of the Advanced Diploma in Financial Management. The best student is Tabiso Leon Mdleche.
Good day, everyone. I'm sure you're all very excited and happy to celebrate the success on this special occasion. My name is Alana from the Ali Lab Department of Regent Business School. As a member of the Regent family, I'm here to congratulate you on graduating and completing your successful journey with your academic studies. A person is a learner for life, always moving and always growing. It is a dream of many to pursue an academic achievement as learning expands our understanding of the world and opens doors to real opportunities to success. In this rapidly changing world, where the landscape of the fourth industrial revolution is transforming industries, careers and skills, you should always be prepared to take on the next challenge in life with confidence and be willing to learn and adapt to new environments and new paths. So enjoy this achievement. It is a glorious moment for any student. Congratulations again from the Ali Lab. Mr. Principal Sir, I have the honor to inform you that the candidates I now present to you receive the award of the Bachelor of Administration degree. Bachelor of Commerce in Accounting degree. The best student is Nomfanelo Shintao Matiwane. Bachelor of Commerce degree. The best student is Yusra Esof.
Bachelor of Commerce in Human Resource Management. The best student is Natasha Harilal. Bachelor of Commerce in Supply Chain Management degree. The best student is Rabina Siumango. Today is your graduation and you should be excited. It's time to celebrate all the hard work that has led to this successful occasion. The road to graduation is very long and steep to climb, but today is the day to celebrate and be proud. Mr. Principal Sir, I have the honor to inform you that the candidates I now present to you receive the award of the Postgraduate Diploma in Accounting. Postgraduate Diploma in Islamic Finance and Banking. The Best Student and Research Award goes to Taira Dukan. Postgraduate Diploma in Project Management. The Best Student is Moswe Harmans Kitse.
Heartiest congratulations to the graduating class of 2021. I am thrilled to send this congratulatory message to all students who have completed postgraduate qualifications, especially those who have completed the Master of Business Administration degree. I congratulate all of you on your perseverance and diligence and trust that you will continue on your lifelong learning journey. Today is a momentous occasion as we celebrate the recognition of your endeavors. You must bask in your success and enjoy this celebration. For those who have completed post, uh, postgraduate diplomas and honors degrees, I look forward to seeing you in the MBA class. For those who have completed master's degrees, the recently fully accredited Doctor of Business Administration or DBA awaits you. Once again, my congratulations and felicitations on your achievements. Congratulations to all graduates. All bachelor degrees and postgraduate diploma students may now put on their motorboards. Professor Kamboa, Professor Sheikh, members of the convocation, ladies and gentlemen, family, friends, graduates, it is my privilege to offer the vote of thanks. I would like to start with my heartfelt admiration for the team who have worked tirelessly to put together the third of these virtual events. In this regard, someone who has to be mentioned by name for her diligent attention to detail is Mrs. Is Mrs. Farana Hussain, our Director of Teaching and Learning. Of course, her team who supported her, particularly in checking and rechecking the names and details of each certificate and each statement of results is applauded. Not unless you have undertaken the arrangements of an event of this nature will you appreciate the hard work that goes into making it a success. Thank you and congratulations to the team. In addition, on behalf of you, our graduates, I wish to extend gratitude and appreciation to the lecturing staff, supervisors and administrative staff for their keen focus on you as the student in ensuring that you have all that you need to succeed. The high success rates of Regent Business School is a testament to their hard work. To extend the thanks even more broadly, sponsored graduates are deeply indebted, indebted to the sponsors for not only giving the opportunity to study, but also for the future opportunities your certificates hold. It is a proven fact that people who, with post school qualifications have a much better chance to be employed and to greater success in life. For those of you who were self-funded, thank your parents, your family and your significant others for the sacrifices they have made on your behalf. This is not a small thing and I'm sure that there are many of your family members there around you who are sighing a sigh of relief that this part of your life journey has been successfully concluded. Drawing the circle ever larger, you would agree that there is much to be thankful for. In a year where heartache, pain and grief became our daily bread, this graduation surely stands out as a shiny moment of achievement against all odds. Well done to all of you. Please spare a thought for all your friends, colleagues and peers who for one reason or another had to give up on the dream of accomplishing this important milestone. 
let us wish them well. I would like to conclude the vote of thanks with a very appropriate quote by Mr. Gilbert Chesterton, a contemporary of Charles Dickens, when he said, I would maintain that thanks are the highest form of thought and that gratitude is happiness doubled by wonder. May the wonder of dreams achieved follow you always. Thank you. Go well and take care. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I dissolve the congregation of the Regent Business School. graduate. My experience with Regent Business School is one that was productive and one that involved technological elements during the pandemic. This was to ensure the continuation of our studies. I got to experience working with the iLead lab and creating a product. This qualification has opened many doors for me. I am currently an intern working remotely for a US company called Gautech in the field of human resources. I'd like to thank Regent, Business School, and the entire management, as well as the lecturers, for making this qualification possible and supporting me throughout my educational journey. I thank you. Hi, my name is Zahra, and I am graduating with my postgraduate diploma in management from Regent Business School. Um, it's been a long journey for me, but I'm so blessed and happy to be here today, very excited. I'd like to thank the continued support from Regent as well as my family. And I'm also so blessed to be doing my Master's in Business Administration with Regent. <laughs> 